What's up guys, I'm here with my man Aton, and Aton, you are showing off one of the coolest, most unique games here at PAX East, Slam Vault Scrappers. This game is so much fun, it's definitely, it's definitely the most bizarre and probably the most chaotic. It's a mashup of brawling and building, it's kind of like equal parts Smash Brothers and World of Goo and Puzzle Fighter and Castle Crashes, we love it. Yeah, it's, it's like you have created the most combative puzzle game I have ever seen here. It's hardly even a puzzle game. It's pretty much just a brawler. It's so much fun. So Slam Bolt Scrappers is a one to four multiplayer game. Everything in the game is one to four player. So there's a one to four player co-op campaign where you and your buddies fight together in a bunch of different levels against epic bosses and there's like some side scrolling stuff. You fight against brutal AIs. It's really fun. And then there's also a one to four player battle mode, which is what you're seeing now behind me, which is kind of just you and your buddies jumping into a battle, brawling and just going crazy. It's so much fun. It kind of feels like the old school Mario Kart 64 or the old uh, like GoldenEye Smash Brothers sort of stuff. It's definitely got a classic vibe to it. Now, how long were you guys working on this? And like, how'd you come up with the concept? We've been working on this game for two and a half years. This took us so long to make. We spent a full year just prototyping and trying out different stuff. This is actually the fifth iteration of the game. One to four wouldn't good enough, so we went and tried different things. We had an old version of the game where you were building with tangrams and these weird triangle shapes. And we even had one version of the game where you were superheroes trying to save a dam that was about to collapse and flood a small town. We're much happier with this, obviously, but you can see that like it was a really evolutionary process. It took us a long time. And that's one of the nice things about being a small indie developer. You can spend a year doing those prototypes to make sure that you get a really good game. Nice. So, uh, what what games do you guys like? Like, what inspired you? Like, I, I mean, there seems to be a hint of Tetris and Smash Brothers, like we've talked about. But like, what where where were you really drawn from? I mean, so we're kind of at a point at Firehose where we just always want to play multiplayer games, games like. Rock Band or New Super Mario Brothers Wii or you know Smash Brothers. These are games that we just play for hours and hours and hours. We always want to play with our friend and we wanted to bring something really new to this area where you're still going and doing all this fighting that you really love but maybe it's a little bit more intelligent and you're trying to go and do some other stuff at the same time. And we really like the idea of going and building really big squares of the same color because then they can grow weaponry and fight alongside you. The upshot is the game is really chaotic, really noisy, but it's so much fun. You start doing it after a minute or two, it just all clicks. Nice. Um, so yeah, explain the explain the characters to us. Um, like like where do the characters come from? It's, Sure. So all the characters in this game are original. They're the scrappers, they're the heroes of Slam Bolt City, and basically they go and they fight. It's a very simple story for a game that's really about just getting right into it. You've got the four scrappers and you also have an angel and demon character as well. They can all fly around, they can all punch, and of course they can all go and build weaponry with colored blocks. Nice. And then you get hats too. <laughs> the hats are really cool. So a lot of times, I mean almost always nowadays, games have achievements, they have trophies, and at least for us, those always feel really disconnected. There's something that you get that don't really have any impact on gameplay. They're just like a number or a score. And so instead, in our game, whenever you get a trophy, you also get a hat, which is an unlockable thing you can wear in the game, so it's like tied to something. So you get a trophy, you get a hat, and then it's, you know, that's something you can wear in game. And the hats are really cool. Nice. Well, this is a really unique game, really fun. I think you guys are going to do really well in a couple of days when you finally launch. And, um... How, all right, so this is PSN exclusive, and how much is it going to cost? It's a PSN exclusive. It's out in two days on March 15th. The game is $15, and it's going to come with a demo. So if you're watching this, you're thinking about you should get it, go grab the demo. It's free. See if you like it. We know you will. And then buy the game. We're super poor indies that are broke. We need your money. Yeah. Fuck all that demoing and shit. Just go buy this fucking game. It's fun as hell. You're going to love it. Slam Ball Scrappers. Can't say enough good things about it. Looking forward to getting my own copy. Great, thanks so much for having me on. Yeah, thanks for talking with us.